This is a tutorial to show you how to install processing.org and Visual Studio Code for Windows. We are going to use this setup in the class and uh, this is for PC. If you want to see the Mac version, it's already uploaded in another video. Okay, so you go to processing.org, you go to download and then you're going to download the processing tree uh, for uh, Windows 64. So you click on this one and it's going to start downloading for you. I already have downloaded processing, so I'm going to stop here the process. Then you go on the page for Visual Studio Code. This is not Visual Studio, but Visual Studio Code, which is another editor by Microsoft. You download for Windows, and again, it's going to start automatically, download, and I'm going to stop this because I already have it in my download folder. All right, so we are ready, and I can open up the download folder. To install Visual Studio Code is actually really straightforward. What you can do is double click on the executable file and then follow the instruction online. Um, in my particular case, I already have installed it, so I'm not going to uh, uninstall it. So I'm going to simply click no, but in your case, you just go ahead and install it. For processing, what you want to do instead is to double click. And this is a zip file. And there is a folder and you want to drag this folder somewhere meaningful on your computer where you probably put all your other programs. So in my case, I'm going to go on my computer, uh, C, Program Files, and I'm going to drag this folder over here. I'm going to drag it over. And uh, it might take a while, depending on your system. OK, continue. And it might take a while. Okay, so now I have it here, processing uh, dash 3.5.4. I'm just going to rename this one to be processing, simply processing. Yep, go ahead. And I can see this is inside over here. So just to verify everything was fine, I double click on this and that's going to launch processing. All right. And then um, Click play, and that starts this window over here. So everything was fine, everything is working correctly. We are good to go. Uh, you can ignore this error over here. That's uh, error on my system because I use two screen. Uh, so everything seems to be fine. Now, a couple of things we want to do before we go ahead. So first of all, uh, we could just go ahead and write a processing application over here, right? We could just use this one as an editor. That's what it's meant for, actually. But we are not going to do so. We're going to use Visual Studio Code because it's simply just more powerful and more convenient, actually, to use over time. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, uh, for the time being, I'm just going to uh, minimize this because I'm going to ignore it. And I'm going to do a couple of things. First of all, I'm going to pin this uh, to my Start menu. That's just for my convenience later on, so I actually can access processing. It's over here. The other thing I want to do, which is actually a more important thing, I want to make sure the processing becomes visible to the other applications that are going to be running in the operating system so that Visual Studio Code can see processing. To do so, you need to click over here and basically copy the location where uh, your processing is installed. In my case, is C, Program File, Processing. Then on this PC, right click, Property, Advanced System Settings, Environmental Variables. So the environmental variables are variables that are used to let the operating system know about uh, some specific folders. Uh, so over here, uh, Path, it's exactly uh, the path that I want to add. And the processing folder is the path I want to add. So click on this one and then eventually paste the location of processing. So now Windows know where processing is. To verify this, I can actually open up the terminal by typing command. So this is the prompt. And if I type processing-java, it will come up a list of possible options for which using this command, for which I could have used this command. Uh, if you didn't do the previous step, you might end up with something like processing-java is not recognized as an internal or external command. So you have to do this previous step. Otherwise, Visual Studio will not be able to see where processing is. OK, so now we are done with that. 
There's one last thing we want to do with processing before I close it. Uh, because I'm going to give a, as an example um, using the, the code that you're going to use for the next assignment, homework zero, we want to install a library because that assignment uses the particular library. So you click on sketch, import library, and then add library. And over here, you're going to look for interfascia. In my case, it's already installed. You can see over here, it's a green check. If it's not installed, just click on install over here, and it's going to install it in a few seconds. That's it. Now we're done with processing. So I can actually close it up completely. OK, so we're done with this. Minimize this as well. I'm going to open up Visual Studio Code. OK, so you actually can make text a little bit bigger or smaller as you prefer. In my particular case, I'm going to open a folder. And the folder I want to open right now, it's in Downloads. And the folder, let's see if I actually can find it. In Downloads, I have this omoxero.zip which is going to be your homework. I'm going to put the folder over here, and now the folder is visible. Select the folder, and inside of this folder, I have the file homework0.pd. In your case, you might end up that no color actually, the, the file is completely white without color matching, like is in my case. Um, so what you have to do is click here, you have this extension, and search for processing extension, the processing language extension, and you want to install it. In my case, it's already installed. Once you install it, you will find that your file, like in my case, it has all this uh, uh, coloring syntax to help you out to actually programming. And you can see down here that I'm in processing mode. So everything is complete, everything is fine. How can I now run the application? How can I compile it and run it? So what you want to do is click on View, Command Palette, or simply Control Shift P. And then Processing, Create Task File. So the task file is a file that is going to be created just once for a sketch. And it's used for basically instructing Visual Studio Code of how to run processing sketches. So I create these, and I specify the folder in which I am, which is homework zero. And this will automatically create for me a hidden folder called .vs code containing a JSON file. And this file has all the necessary information for VS code to run your processing code. You do this just one time, and you don't have to touch this. I'll just show you just for your understanding. All right, so I'm here, now I'm going to run the sketch. How can I do that? Tap Control shift p and then you'll find for Processing, Run Processing Project. Then again, you have to specify the folder, your project, which is homework zero. It's going to take a moment, and then it's going to start it up, and everything is fine. If you want a, a quicker way to do this, you can actually type Control Shift B, and that is going to do exactly the same thing. All right. Now, what happened here when I run the project? A folder has been created for me, a folder is called out folder, and you can see it contains the source, the Java source, which is basically your processing code modified by processing itself to run your own applet, and then the bytecode over here of your omoxero.pd file. Again, you don't have to touch anything inside of this out folder, but uh, you can take a look if you're interested. Otherwise, just stay here in your omoxero.pd. Now, let's say I want to start a project from scratch. How can I do that? So the easiest way to do that is actually from processing itself. So I'm going to open up processing. And what I want to do is just the, um, a new project. So now I'm going to save it. I'm going to save this one on desktop as a test uh, application. And that's it. Then I can close it. Now open the folder. On desktop, test application, select the folder. Internally, you can find test.pd. There is absolutely nothing written, so I'm going to write some code. What is set up? And I'm going to set the size to be 800 by 600. And then down here, I'm going to do draw. And then you can see that uh, the out completion is actually trying to help me out completing the code very quickly. No. Zero, zero, so I'm going to have a red background. Now, 
If I try just to run the sketch, Control Shift B, right away, without creating any task, it's not going to work out. So you have to create the task as I did before. So Control Shift P, create task file. You do that just one time. For test, this has been created. Now Control Shift B, and everything is going to work. So what happened in practice is that we have this test folder, and this test folder contains a test.pde file. So as long as test.pde file is contained in a folder with the same name of this file, you're fine. It's going to recognize it. But if I'm going to change this file to something else, so I'm going to call it, for example, test2, and I go back to Visual Studio Code, so this test doesn't exist anymore, there is this test2, and I try to run it, it will not run it. It will tell me I cannot find anything. So the test file, as long as you have a test.pde file inside of a folder with the same name, you're good to go. So in this particular case, test.pde, everything run very smoothly. All right, so I hope this tutorial was useful. See you in class.